What nobody tells you about working in IT is that it's nothing like what you pictured from the outside. You're not just the computer guy. You're on the clock, measured by metrics, and you're constantly dealing with problems that don't wait until you're ready. Tickets stack up, outages hit at the worst time, and the pressure is real. At the same time, nobody tells you how much you'll actually grow, how quickly you'll pick up skills, how fast you can move from absolutely brand new to running mission critical systems, and how this career can completely change the direction of your life if you lean into it. This video is gonna be about the things that people don't put in the job description. The parts of IT that you only understand once you've been in the trenches. Quick background, my name is Jake. I'm a system administrator at an MSP. An MSP is a managed service provider, which means that we give IT services to other companies. In my case, we work in the financial institution industry, so we work with banks and credit unions. I've been in IT for about a year and a half now. I've picked up seven certifications along the way, and I've worked over a thousand tickets across dozens of different environments. I'm going to break down the real side of IT, what it's like day to day, what nobody tells you about it, and why it's still one of the best career moves that you can make in your life. Let's get into it. So the first thing is that you're going to learn an insane amount insanely fast. People tend to either say that IT is all grunt work or you'll be some kind of genius overnight. The truth is that you get really good because the ticket volume forces you to. When I got in, I thought that I would maybe ease into things like start shadowing some senior techs, maybe handpick a couple tickets here and there. Honestly, that's not how it works, especially at an MSP. The queue does not care if you're new or if you're a veteran. Tickets keep coming. Password resets, VPN issues, Outlook crashes, printers offline, security alerts, phishing tickets. Handling dozens every day forces you to connect the dots quickly and literally rewires your brain. After my first 90 days, I realized how much I had picked up without even really noticing. Problems that felt nearly impossible in week one were just routine by week 12. And that's the hidden benefit that nobody tells you. The sheer volume builds pattern recognition, confidence and the ability to troubleshoot well under pressure. A few months in, you literally will not recognize the person who walked in the door on day one. Secondly, is that system administrators and system engineers are not geniuses. One of the coolest parts when you start is watching sysadmins and system engineers work. They step into a problem that feels unsolvable, pull in some context that you didn't even know existed, and then fix things in a way that you wouldn't even have imagined. I remember watching an engineer rebuild some configs, dig through logs on the fly. To me, it looked like he was a literal magician. Being around people who can take a broken system and piece it back together piece by piece is inspiring. It shows you what's possible and kind of sets the bar for what you want to be. Here's the truth though. They're not actual geniuses. They've just pushed more volume than you. They've seen the odd VPN failures, the DNS misconfigurations, GPO conflicts, and they've set all of this stuff up. Over time, that repetition turns into pattern recognition. What looks like wizardry is really just experience. And if you keep grinding, one day you're gonna be that guy that the new techs look to in this way. The third thing that nobody told me is that tickets never stop. You can put out a massive fire, resolve something that you would think would earn you a nice little break. And the second that ticket closes, more massive fires are waiting for you. The ticket queue does not pause just because you were buried in one big issue. I remember working on full priority one outages, managers, clients, engineers, all involved. The second it was resolved, I looked to my queue and see 20 more normal issues. Password resets, printers offline, VPNs not working. That's when it hits you that there is no such thing as being caught up in IT. At first that feels really overwhelming, but this is also where you learn to prioritize, triage, and really pick your poison with what's important in the moment. That constant flow of tickets is also why people say MSPs give you 10 years of experience in one year. It's not harder problems, it's just nonstop problems. And if you stick with it, that type of volume is what makes you cool and collected when things seem like they're just burning to the ground. It's a very useful skill to be calm in the middle of a storm. The number four thing that people didn't tell me is that metrics run the show. You can't really be prepared for how much numbers are gonna run things in IT. At a MSP especially, your day isn't just about solving problems, it's also about keeping your numbers up. SLA timers start the second a ticket hits your queue. Every call, task, email needs to be tracked as billable time. Customer satisfaction scores come in after ticket close where they'll give you a survey and rate you one to 10 and maybe give you a nice comment, hopefully a nice comment. All this data is getting looked at and judged constantly by managers and by your peers. It can feel different at first. You can feel like you're working hard, but the reports don't really show effort. They just show the numbers. I saw colleagues who were great workers get pulled aside because they weren't reaching expectations or their billable hours weren't where they needed to be, even though I thought they were doing a great job. And that's when it clicked to me. In IT, it doesn't matter what you do if it's not tied back to numbers, metrics, and a business objective. And as much as that pressure can be annoying, it's also valuable. Metrics keep you accountable. They give you a clear picture of where you're performing and where you can improve. They also force you to tighten up your process 
get faster and document the heck out of everything. And the longer I've been in IT, the more I've realized that those numbers aren't just for managers. They're for us as workers as well. They're like proof of progress. They're leverage for when I want more responsibility or if I'm looking for that next role. Metrics run the show. And once you learn how to use them, they can actually be your best friend. Number five is that nobody tells you about the human side of IT. You're not just working with computers. You're working with people who are stressed, frustrated, or just flat out confused. On paper, the ticket might say email issue or VPN not connecting. In reality, you're talking to somebody who's upset, who can't do their job, and just wants their problem fixed. Sometimes they don't have the words or capability to explain what's happening. Sometimes they're convinced that their entire system is hacked when they just have a typo in their password or caps lock is left on. You have to be the person to be able to bridge that gap. And what nobody tells you is that those soft skills matter just as much as the technical ones. Learning how to explain things clearly, stay calm when somebody else isn't, and keep people calm and reassured while you troubleshoot, those are skills that are gonna matter. Looking back, I didn't expect this part of the job to matter so much, but it is huge. The ability to speak two languages, tech and human, and be a translator between the two is so useful. It sets you apart now and also sets you apart later when you're trying to move into higher roles. And I'll be honest, doing something like this where you talk about technical concepts on camera is a great way to get good at it as well. It'll show you the parts that you know and that you don't know and you need to get better at explaining. People say if you can't explain something to a five-year-old, do you truly know it? Number six is that nobody tells you about the upside of IT. With all the talk about stress and metrics, it's easy to think that IT is just a grind, but nobody tells you about the upside and it is big. If you push yourself, IT can pay off super fast. I'm talking, you can go from help desk to a sysadmin, system engineer, maybe even cloud engineer in a matter of a few years. Certifications, projects, and consistent results get noticed quickly. That's what happened to me. I stacked a bunch of certs, I grinded super hard, got my numbers really good, and made a case for myself to become a system administrator with just four months in IT. This is something that a company normally wouldn't do, but I was confident, I was fearless, and they took a chance on me. And I think it paid off for both parties. The point is, IT rewards effort. It's a meritocracy. There's also flexibility that people overlook. Remote work schedule and having that freedom is huge. Being able to work from home or having options other than going to the office is life-changing, to be honest with you. And once you get past tier one and hopefully get out of the call queue, your life changes forever. So the upside is that IT opens doors quickly. You get valuable skills and you have freedom and you can shape your career in a way that a lot of careers don't allow you to. Seven is that nobody tells you IT is actually kind of fun if you're built for it. It doesn't always feel like it in the moment, especially if you're buried in tickets and it's super stressful. But if you're the type of person that likes puzzles and problem solving on the job, this just scratches an itch in your brain. It gives you that rush all the time, over and over. It's almost addicting. There's nothing like solving a problem that's been blocking dozens of people from working or bringing important systems back online after an outage. You get that moment where everything clicks. You realize that you were the one holding things together and that feels really good. I've had days where it felt like chaos since the moment I logged in to the moment I logged out. And it was super stressful in the moment. But when I look back, I realized that I solved a plethora of issues, kept things moving, kept people up and running, and I learned a ton in the process. If you're wired for it, that kind of day doesn't just feel rewarding, it's energizing. This isn't to say that the job is stress-free, it's not. But for the right person, the pressure is part of the appeal. You start to enjoy being the person that people can count on when things break. And that's what makes IT different from a lot of jobs. The fun is built into the challenge. Number eight is that nobody tells you about career freedom. Once you build a base of skills, skills, you can pivot in almost any direction in the duration of a year. Some people lean into networking and go deep on Cisco. Others move into system administration, security, cloud, DevOps. You're not really locked into one path. The same skills you're learning in help desk, troubleshooting, documentation, communication, you can take these and use them to leverage yourself into different roles. And that I think is what makes IT unique in comparison to a lot of other careers. You don't have to know your final destination when you start. Actually, you shouldn't because you can't. You can figure it out as you go. For me, certs open the door into networking type tickets and cloud administration. For you, it might be security, it might be data center stuff, it might be something completely different. And it doesn't stop with just technical stuff. The longer you're in IT, the more opportunities are gonna open up in things like management, leadership, or even independent contracting. You could take your career in a direction that matches your interests and lifestyle. Nobody tells you that IT isn't just a job, it's a launch pad. Where you take it is up to you. So that's what nobody tells you about working in IT. You're gonna learn an insane amount super fast. You'll be surrounded by people you think are geniuses and after a while you'll realize they just have more mileage than you. The tickets never stop, the metrics are always running, and you'll spend just as much if not more time dealing with people than you deal with technology. But the flip side is the upside. 
the growth, the pay jumps, the flexibility, the freedom to shape your career however you want. And if you're wired for it, I'm going to be honest, the job is actually really fun. Every day, the job throws something new at you, and you're the one that people count on to fix it. If you're thinking about getting into IT, I hope this gives you a clearer picture. It's not perfect, but it's one of the fastest ways to build real skills. You can move up quickly, and you can carve out a career that could take you anywhere. If you're already in IT, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, and I would love to hear your perspective in the comments. Drop your wildest story, hit the subscribe button if you found this helpful, Appreciate you guys. Be safe, be smart, make some good decisions, and good luck getting into IT. It's an amazing career.